So everyone, welcome back. Another episode in Shellbrook, Canada. Um, Blue Plains Dairy. We finally have a full tank of digestite taking the town. We're going to have to run some milk after as well. But I'm pretty excited because now we can start making some money with solid fertilizer. And as you can see, we need it. And it's about to go down even more pretty soon because we need to still buy a header for a new harvester we just purchased. That is where we are at with that. We should get some money. I mean, we can sell some dried corn and some other product we have left over from last year's harvest. Uh, we gotta sell some milk, definitely, as well. This episode will probably be semi-short. I don't know if we'll end up buying the header this episode. I kind of want to wait till we have some money coming in. There's really nothing out there for contracts right now, either, which kind of shocked me. Even though there is two fields that are ready to be harvested on another farm, we just can't get into it. But if you can go ahead, if you've enjoyed this series, enjoyed this content, Go hit that like button. Help this content expand its horizon to the rest of the world. Really helps the channel out. Let's me know you enjoy the content. So I continue to make it knowing that others besides myself enjoy it. But yeah. I think we're going to hop away for a second. We got a long drive and I think we might even have a flat tire. The way this trailer keeps bouncing. Well, we didn't make it far, so can confirm, three flats, this has been nothing but a wonderful start to the month of July, and 6 a.m. in the morning, and we've got three flats on one side, not sure how that happened, maybe there's some junk I didn't notice by our little BGA that we have, but yeah, we're going to have to call for help. Hopefully they can change those tires right here. That thing is full with 50,000 liters of digestite. That's an issue. But, yeah. So I guess we'll just hang out and wait. Well, we lost about three hours. But we have it fixed. Even though it looks like there might be a little rim damage. So we're going to get this dropped off. And we might have to leave the trailer over at the shop down here. And pay for somebody to fix it. Not the expenses I was looking to pay, but it is what it is. Alright. Yeah, see, he's still sitting down a little bit. So, like I said, we're gonna have to go leave this over at the dealership. They actually have some mechanics who can actually take care of this damage that we have, get some things changed out for us, then hopefully we can have this back running again shortly. Old Timmy's right there, good old food, deer in the road, but while we go to the shop though we can check out our new purchase. If we head back to the farm we'll grab the milk tank. I can't believe we had three flats on the same side. Hopefully they can fix it. They told us to leave it right around the back, and there it is. There's the new beauty. We're just gonna drive right over here. They said leave it right in between these harvesters. And there we go. But yeah, so we purchased this beautiful 9250. Very similar to the one we have. Brand new. There was a new Holland on sale. Just wasn't going to cut it, I think, long term. Wanted to kind of keep them the same. Go easy to course play for us as well. But I'm excited for this. We've got to get a header for it. We'll need a corn header for a corn season as well, but for now, I like it. Let's head back to the farm. 
So not a bad fill. We got about 46,000 liters of milk. We're going to go sell. Get some extra money. Money has been slowly ticking up with some other items selling. I know our digestite is still turning out. Good value. Done with the fertilizer already. I uh, haven't heard back on our other tanker. So we won't be hauling any digestite or slurry for a while. But like I said, we'll get this milk back down. I'm hoping next month we have some hogs and some beef that we can push. Uh, from what I saw, they're all about 90%. I think. Let's hop into that while we're driving. And actually, we just had a bunch of dairy cows. Oh, we did get Angus already. So you know what? We might have to sell some beef. I don't know if the beef market is open yet, but I'm thinking we might have to do that. Looks like our meadow's growing back pretty quick already. But we'll get this sold and right back into it, I think. Well, uh, maybe we won't do it this week. I was going to jump ahead, get us into harvest season. By then our pigs, beef cows will be pretty fair size. Them shift in action. But anyways, last time I got over here in the dairy, we got stuck a little bit. I'm going to do it better this time. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, enjoying the series, everybody, go ahead, smash that like button, or even give it just a little tappity tap. Oh, a little lag there. Yeah, it helps the channel out, and again, the important thing is, lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. Otherwise, kind of got to go the other way. Nah, I'm just kidding. I really like this series. So even if you're not enjoying it, well, I don't know what to tell you. But all jokes aside, this has been a fun series. We've still got a lot of debt to get out of. You guys continue to support it with the likes, the comments, and some of you even sharing it. I love it. But right now I'm watching the money go up and it's even better. So we have enough now to buy a header. I don't know though. We might have to buy a trailer to haul that back. Apparently you can't drive oversized equipment through the town anymore. So that could be an issue. But it looks like we're going to make it out good on the milk. I think... We push, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we should probably look into moving some meat and pigs next episode. But I think for today, with the bad luck we've had already, I think that's going to have to be the episode. I mean, we just made another $31,000. We're in not a bad spot, even though the harvester is going to take probably 90 of that. 95, I forgot how much it is, but it's a pretty penny. And yeah, if we have to transport that stuff over to the farm, that could be a costly affair as well. But again, I think that's going to do it for us. Thank you all for the continued support. You know, this channel wouldn't be where it is without y'all. So I appreciate it. Farmer Taz out.